Oh hi, it's Rob. And today I am going to try and fix this heater. Uh, yesterday I discovered that it wasn't working when I went down into the kitchen and the kitchen was at 44 degrees. Uh, so something is wrong with it. I'm going to guess that it's either a wire burns or the heating element that's fried, but I don't know. So what happens when we turn it on? Yeah. Beep. So, there is something definitely wrong with it, and I don't know what it is, but uh, I'm going to take it apart and try and fix it. I got this heater. Uh, several years ago as a gift from my mother uh, and it's been in use for several years uh, try to keep it clean although with dogs there is dog hair and dog hair gets into everything um, it was running hot I think the filter was a little bit too clogged I cleaned the filter and it was working and then it wasn't working so I'm going to try and get into it here this might be a little messy I should probably try and blow this out with the uh, air compressor. Alright, I'm going to take this out and be right back. Alright, this is the control unit. Uh, I've had a little bit of time to look at this now. And there's a connector here that goes to the front panel. Uh, this is the power coming in, the connector for the fan. And then there are two heating elements here. And I'm not seeing how they are turned on. I suspect there might be some other devices on the other side of the board but I guess we can find out so I want to try and pull this but well actually I want to see something first uh, I want to see what happens with the uh, where do we go so it's on now and it should be Hmm. Well, oddly, it's uh, actually producing a little bit of heat right now. But I noticed that these elements are not... Uh... <laughs> Oops. All right, back in action.
Something is going on. I'm not sure what it is. Blowing warm air, but it's not very warm. And these heating elements don't look like they are on. I'm getting like 1.5 volts AC on this one, and less on this one. Something is definitely wrong. All right. Well, we'll have a look. <sighs> okay, I've got the power going in unplugged. So now I want to pull these off and check for continuity. I think they're fine, but something is not right in getting them power. Just a resistance check on these. They should be a fairly low resistance. Uh, if they're not, there might be an issue. Set that here. Ah. Ohms. That seems entirely reasonable. And we'll see if this one is about the same or maybe twice that. Yeah. 25 and a half. Okay, so it's a little bit more. So this one is a little lower power, uh, lower power element, and this one is the high power element, or actually it's probably two elements in together. So those seem okay. I think I need to take this board off. Take off the uh, heat sink screw here. So that, that will come off. Okay. We're really stuck. We're really stuck. We're no longer stuck. Fan. And oh, 
That looks very uh, intriguing. There is nothing on the back of this. That is crazy. How are those things powered? Hmm. Yeah, that's a little suspicious right there. I don't know if you can see that. There's this little blackened spot right there. This is looks like it's been burned. Or at least to some degree. don't know that that's going to make much of a difference, but... Okay, so this is the board. Uh, I'm pretty sure that this is a temperature sensor. I'm not entirely sure uh, if it's just a, uh, you know, a little heat sensor so that when it gets above a certain temperature it turns on or whether it's an actual thermistor. those well okay so this this right now has three heating or three heating elements and they're all on at the same time so it's neutral where does that go that goes on to the back where it is oh sure okay yeah I'm pretty sure this is a switch that if it's um, that it needs to be on in order for this to work because just tracing this through comes up here to this transistor not a lot of heat sink compound on that but So apparently it is all turned on by this transistor. There's a BT425. I have to look that up. Some power resistors here. It so looks like everything is controlled by this little beastie. Uh, which I cannot read. No, I give up. I can't read that. My eyes rolled. All right, let's go back and look at these. All right, they still look like they're connected. Um, go for a check on this. Yeah, that is closed. So this is a uh, this is a snap switch on and off um, sensor. So that if if it's below a certain temperature, this is connected, and if it gets above that certain temperature, this is flipped open like a switch. Hmm. So I am wondering. If maybe, 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 this transistor is gone. All right. I'm going to open up this back and take a look inside. So it turns out there's nothing in here other than just the heaters and metal box for the uh, forcing of the air through the burner element. So I'm going to guess that maybe our culprit is on the control board. Okay, just had a reasonably quick look at this. This is the line voltage coming in. It routes up over to here to one side of the transistor. The other side of this transistor is routed down here. This is that uh, thermal switch. And then this is the distribution to these heating elements. 
So it looks like the failure point is very likely right here. So this is a VT425 transistor. Let me write that down. And what I should be able to do is check and see if there's line voltage here when it should be on. If there's, I mean, there's going to be line voltage here because that's just a direct connection. But in order for this to work, this has to turn on. And if it is not turning on, if this transistor is blown, then there's going to be nothing here or very little here. So let's figure that out and see if it uh, works. We'll test it. Actually, I want to take a look at this. We've got three resistors here. Diodes. Oh, okay. This is just a this is a power a line dropper for the power for this chip. All right, I'm gonna put it back together. All right, so this is plugged in and it is ready to go. I just wanted to show you that indeed this leg of this transistor is sitting at 120 volts. That is the line coming in, the line voltage coming in, and there is basically nothing there. Let's see what the base is, or whatever it is. Hmm, 120 volts. That's odd. I'm gonna have to look that up. That might not be a transistor. <clears throat> so now it is on. It should be trying to heat. And we should see voltage there. It's 100 and 102, 104, 105 volts. It's really weird. I don't. Oh, and it's warming up. Okay, so it seems to be working now. Maybe it just needed to have that board taken out and some of the connections restored a little bit. I don't know. All right. Well, it is blowing warm air at this point which is what a heater is supposed to do. So I don't know, this one might be a, uh, this one might be a fix. Okay, evidently I don't need to, uh, evidently I don't need to trans to uh, replace the, uh, that BT45 or 425. All right, and you guys saw it here. So it went from non-working to working, just from fiddling with it. Which doesn't make me feel really, uh, really happy about the fix, but it is what it is. And if I have a working heater again, I'm okay with that. Well, I guess we'll put it back together and call it a win. See you guys next time.